Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as usual, we wanted to share with you what happened in the premium signals group last week. And I'm very really happy to share with you that Friday we have managed to finish the day with about 150 pips of profit delivered to our clients. However, it's the time also to check what happened in the previous day as days as well. So by looking at the other days, as we can see, uh, I think this was from last Thursday, as we can see uh, some profits here and there, also very tiny small losses here and there as well. I will talk about these small losses later. Let's keep scrolling to see the results from the past week. As we can see, here are the results right in front of you. Uh, Wednesday was really a very good day. I believe we have finished that day with more than 100 pips of profits delivered also to our clients. So uh, we did so far very well. However, um, Tuesday and Monday, as you can see, these are the results in front of you. Look at that. I want you to notice something here. Notice something here about the losses. Of course, we can see uh, the profits as well. Uh, 20 pips for the EuroCAD, EuroUSD, 20 pips uh, of profit, making total of 40 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the losses, 4 pips, 0 pips, 3 pips. And if we, if we keep uh, looking up, we can find here also 5 pips, 6 pips. So what's what's going on? Um, are they don't ex I, I mean maybe maybe the clients thinking what's wrong with extreme trader are they don't trust their signals or something no actually what's happening is that we are we are sending the signal to start shorting for example when we notice that the pair is about to make any breakout sometimes the market actually tricking us and when we are seeing here a price action indicates a continuation in the breakout we are sending the signal to start the short for example sometimes the market actually tricking us and immediately change the, di the direction when we see the market actually doing like this and not respecting the support and resistance levels because for example this was a broken resistance and the market was sorry a broken support and the market was supposed to actually create a new resistance and continue the fall if that doesn't happen we immediately close the signal because we see that the market is not respecting the levels and therefore we have to instead to let the signal to continue to rise to the to hit the stop loss is to cancel the signal as uh, less as possible so this is actually one of the practices that we you will notice in the premium group that we never let any signal to reach the stop loss we are do we're doing our best guys we cannot really read the future what we are doing is we are just predicting the market we are analyzing the market the way we do and we are just hoping that the market is gonna go in the way we have predicted we cannot guarantee anything we cannot promise you that the market is indeed gonna respect that level and when the previous support is gonna become a new, a new resistance sometimes the market just doesn't respect these levels so i believe we are doing really very well and i believe we are doing the best thing is when we, uh, to cancel these trades when they are not respecting the levels as we expected and we are aiming these big profits as you can see so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd for the euro usd actually last week i have predicted on the midweek analysis video that the euro usd should be better for the buy from the level 1.20590 guys i'm not showing off please don't misunderstand me i'm just very proud that my analysis was accurate and for that i'm very happy and i will i always want to share the results with everyone i swear it's not showing off it's just i'm proud of my work and i believe every trader have the right to be proud of his work so What's happening right now is the euro USD has reversed from the same level I have mentioned to start the buying, making about 86 pips of profit, but so far running in 50, um, 57 pips of profit. However, if we look at the daily candles, we can notice that the euro USD has indeed reversed from that strong key support level. And as we can see, these three candles, sorry, these two candles representing a continuation in the growth or in the rise. So therefore, what we can do right now is we are going to depend on the new support appeared right here to continue buying the euro usd and if i'm not mistaken the same take profit level we can keep as well not only that if we go to the four hour time frame we can notice that if we have drawn right here a support uh, a fibonacci retracement we can notice that right here the, the fibonacci or the, the the market right now is still above fibonacci 61.8 
there is a high probability that the euro usd is actually going to continue the rise right away at the opening on monday morning however and just to be always safe we always have to depend on the pullbacks and we can expect from the euro usd to fall a little bit more down to hit fibonacci retracement number 50 which was previously also a strong key support level on the four hour time frame and from that point we can expect for, to start buying the pair and as i said before we're gonna keep the same take profit level uh, eventually if i'm not mistaken the euro usd is gonna continue the rise all the way to the peak of the resistance at 1.23404 However, and just to be safe and just to be giving actually more realistic uh, signals, we are going to rely on that uh, resistance right here because definitely if the pair is going to move in a bullish momentum, definitely the euro USD is actually going to continue the rise and hit that resistance at least. Therefore, and that being said, let's now change the signal and it's going to be right here to start buying right here exactly uh, from that level of Fibonacci retracement number 50 as I mentioned before just like that fantastic and of course let's edit the text to be uh let's buy at 1.208886 like that and the tech profit level is going to remain the same as i have mentioned before uh, please keep in mind that we're having right here a supported trend line so you can expect from the euro usd to actually continue the fall and it might fall actually a little bit below the support uh, the previous support that i have mentioned we can start uh, the buy at but however if you can draw here the support trend line exactly the way i did it you can expect from the euro usd to actually reverse after hitting that support trend line and if you notice right here any bearish breakout candle has appeared like this then please close the trade with the loss However, if you notice right here, uh, vice versa, if you, if you notice right here, any pin bar indicates a continuation in the growth or the growth or actually continu uh, the continuation in the bullish momentum. It means that the, the pair has actually respected that support trend line and it actually might continue the rise. So please pay, pay attention and draw this support trend line exactly the same way I did right here, just like this and just make it more like yeah exactly like this so let's see what will gonna happen and really hopefully it's gonna be a very good and profitable signal let's take a look at the pound usd now for the pound usd as we can see again i'm very proud and happy about my signal because it has worked perfectly fine as we can see the pair has reversed exactly from the level i have mentioned to start the buy from and it went all the way to hit the take profit at 91 pips and actually it has continued the growth uh, to make a uh, maximum of 1,900, uh, sorry, 191 pips of profit, and so far it's running in 158 pips of profit. Very happy and very glad that this signal uh, was very accurate, and I really hope you guys have taken this signal and made some good profits out of it. So now, what's next? What's next is actually we can start. Uh, actually, we can, we can continue buying the pound USD. Let me show you something right here let's go to the weekly candles let's delete all these others uh, okay so as i said before and i have said that for many weeks so far right now on the weekly candles we can notice that right here we're having this very strong resistance at 1.428 sorry 1.42805 if i'm not mistaken the pound usd is actually not gonna stop the rise until it reaches that level of the resistance after that we're gonna see what will gonna happen and if the pair gonna continue the fall sorry the rise or reverse from that level so the pound usd if i'm not mistaken is gonna rise for almost another 300 pips and therefore uh, i believe the pound usd is still valid for the buy now the question is where we can start again buying the pair let's now go to the uh four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we can notice that the pair has already retested that resistance right here um the resistance at 1.39518 uh, we can notice that the pair actually has made two attempts already from that resistance let's go to the one hour time frame as we can see my friends then we can see right here the creation of support number two and right here the creation of uh, sorry the support number one and here creation of support number two meaning the pair has already retested that level several times or multiple times now it's about it's a question about where we can start again buying the pair now if we notice right here we can uh, increase this resistance uh, line 
exactly like this so we can notice that our pair is almost touching the peak of the resistance at 1.39893 and what we can see right here is a support number one has been created therefore sorry uh, therefore we can expect from the pound usd to fall a little bit more to create support number two and by that we can notice that the pair is going to actually be respecting that support trend line as we can see like that therefore that's actually going to be a better level to start buying the pair from that point we have to wait and see the price action i'm asking you please don't start buying immediately wait to see any price action here indicating that the pair is indeed respecting that support trend line and please draw it on the one hour time frame the same way i have drawn right here in front of you if you see any pin bar like this or a hammer or reversed hammer or a doji or whatever indicates a continuation in the in the bullish momentum please start buying the pound usd but please don't set any pending orders don't buy the pair if you see the market is still if, the, if you see the market is pushing the pair to go down and has created here a bearish breakout candle don't buy the pair one time and second time and third time it's like you are fighting and you're forcing the market to go on your way that's not gonna work and you in the long term actually in the short term short, short term you're gonna fail and you can actually wipe your account don't force the market to go on your way just we are analyzing here we are expecting from the market to reverse from that point so therefore please pay attention and be extra careful when you are placing these trade anyway we can start buying the pound usd after uh, it falls for another 15 pips so therefore uh, the buy is going to be uh, the buy is going to be given at 1.39893 and for the safe zone of course let's go back to the forward time frame so we can see it uh, the safe zone should be actually ranging just a little bit at that support zone so therefore the safe zone sadly is gonna be let me just think, increase it a little bit more exactly like this so it should be about 55 pips off uh, hopefully it's not gonna be lost but however this this is the safe zone just like that and for the deck profit level let's go back to the to the weekly candle and let me just show you that we can actually uh set our target to be exactly right here so therefore we are aiming about 164 pips of profit uh, i have set in my uh set my uh, take profit level to be touching exactly that support right here which was also previously a support right here as well before this is a strong bearish candle so these numbers are not giving randomly just wanted to mention that or to highlight that so the take profit level is gonna be 1.41504 there goes your signal for the pound usd and i really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's look at the AUD usd which really pissed me off because the pair has reversed just almost three pips before touching my buy level as 0 0.77200 as you can see the pair has went all the way in 145 pips of profit i believe the analysis was just fantastic and perfect and i hope you guys have taken any good profits from this signal so now what's gonna be, what's gonna be next actually it's quite easy for the AUDUSD. as we notice right here the take profit level has been breaking out from with a strong uh, bur uh, bullish breakout candle therefore we can notice right here that we are having a previous resistance at the same level of the take profit what i'm expecting right now from the AUDUSD to actually retest that broken resistance and from that point we are going again to start buying the AUD USD again and we can actually keep the thread running until let's go back to the weekly chart so we can keep the thread running until it hit that previous exactly right here uh, resistance as we can see as 0 0.79173 so therefore if we started the buy right here we can expect about 100 pips of profit hopefully gonna be delivered and uh, everyone will enjoy making profit with it so therefore uh, let me just mention the new take profit level which is gonna be 0 0.79173 and for the for this one we are just going to change the take profit level to be buy because we are buying exactly from the same level we mentioned that it was a take profit in the last video so we have to wait for the AUDUSD to fall for another 
um, 42 pips before we can start again buying it. So please don't rush to buy the pair. Just wait and see what will gonna happen. I have to remind everyone that if on Monday morning the pair has actually reached this take profit level immediately without falling to read to, to retest the level and activating our buy order then this signal is not valid any longer you guys got the point right if the pair has went immediately immediately went all the way to the take profit level and if you see the pair falling then please don't don't buy don't buy that's not right we have to wait at the right moment because it's, it's a long story i don't want to explain it right now but however uh, if the pair has reached immediately the take profit level just don't buy it again so there goes your signal for, uh, for i forgot the safe zone let me just zoom in and let's see the safe zone should actually be ranging until that previous support level right here so we're talking about 56 57 pips and i believe the pair is actually not gonna fall that much i believe it's gonna be also a very accurate and good signal and hopefully everyone will make will uh, make good profits out of it let's take a look uh, take a look now at the usd cad usd cad also <laughs> i'm very proud and very happy guys because the signal has worked perfectly fun as you can see i have mentioned that we can start again shorting the usd cad if you missed entry uh, uh selling the pair at this level you can sell it again at the level 1.27284 as you can see the pair has indeed reversed exactly from that point and went in total of and actually it, it has hit the take profit level at exactly uh, 115 pips of profit and i really hope you guys have taken these uh, signals and have enjoyed making all these profits and i really would like to hear to hear your, your uh, opinion uh, or your um yeah your opinion on the on the comments just to see what if you guys have actually taken these signals or you are just learning how to analyze the market from these videos However, now what's going to happen next with the USD CAD? In my opinion, the USD CAD is actually going to continue the fall. Now, the question is where we can start again shorting the pair. As you can see right here, we are having a support zone. And so far, it seems like, like the USD CAD actually has reversed from that uh, zone. However, um, and by seeing this strong bearish momentum, it seems like the, the CAD is actually going to continue the fall and seems like the bears are actually who's controlling the market right now. So now it's a matter of where we can again start shorting the pair. Uh, let me just go to the daily candles. And as you can see right here, the market shows us that the pair actually is, uh, seems like it's reversing from that support uh, zone, but however, eventually the market is actually gonna continue the fall. We just need to mark the strong support levels that we can expect from the pair to uh, retest and then gonna continue the fall. So by looking at this, uh, if, if you see the way I have drawn my, my support line, I have drawn my support line in a way it touches the bottom or uh, the, the bottom of the uh, this tail and it touches all of the uh, tails on that support attempt and it touches also all of the tails at that other support as well. So we can expect from the USD CAD to rise a little bit more I am retesting that uh, support uh, support uh, level again and after that we can start shorting the pair of course that's that's on the daily candles let's go to the four hour time frame and we can see that the pair has indeed already retested that level now let me, let's let's just make it clear that if i am actually willing to give the signal for the usd cat i will give it definitely to be right here at that level right here now where what is the reason for that okay N those who are following me for a long time they know my rules first of all if you want to short you always better short um when you see here a breakout candle and you better start shorting at the same level of the nearest tail to the breakout candle by looking at this candle right here we can see that this tail right here is the nearest one to this bearish breakout candle and not to mention also that the very same level was a resistance right here and a resistance right here as well i believe that the pair actually gonna continue to rise just to hit that previous level after that we can start again shorting the usd cad and aiming at the next uh, support level after this one right here of course guys i have to remind everyone same like for the pound usd don't start shorting unless you see here any sign that the market is indeed reversing from that previous support level and seems like the market is actually going to continue the fall only start shorting 
if you see a strong bearish momentum if you see here a strong pin bar indicates that the market has failed to break out from that level and seems like it's going to continue the fall then you can start shorting the usd cat please i'm begging you don't start shorting blindly just because salah said so that being said we can start shorting the usd cat at 1.26426 and the tech profit uh, sorry the safe zone should be actually ranging right here above that previous support level so it's gonna ranging for about 48 pips uh this the reason i'm selecting this level right here is because we are having also right here a previous support level and we can see that the same level also was a, a strong key support level so there's a slight chance that the market might actually rise a little bit more just to retest that broken support level and after that it's gonna fall that's why i told you you have to be careful and just be wise when you are placing your sell order don't don't use any pending orders guys because it's actually gonna eventually um cause to wipe your account so uh this is as i said before where we are going to start uh, shorting the pair let's go to the weekly candles to see the previous support level as we can see right here we're having exactly that support level um let me just make it clear exactly like this let me just move the number just like that as we can see this is exactly what i'm trying to show you uh the pair seems like it's definitely going to continue the fall to hit that support level at 1.25483 that's going to be exactly our take profit level so therefore take profit at 1.24 sorry 25483 hopefully also it will work very well and it will bring us lots of profits okay uh, the video now is about 23 minutes sorry 21 minutes so i think we have to go faster than that on the other pairs i used the gpy uh, the signal didn't work uh, as we can see i was expecting from the pair to uh, reverse at that previous support the trend line and to become a new sorry at that previous resistance trend line and to become a new support trend line but sadly that trade has failed so therefore uh, the signal for the ucgpy uh didn't work sadly which is which is re really very normal so now what's next it seems like the ucgpy is actually going to continue the fall and by seeing these two attempts right here i would like to say that we can start short the ucgpy right away immediately because it seems like the pair is actually going to continue the fall and it's going to continue the fall all the way until it touches that previous support level which was eventually also a strong key resistance level as well so we are having right here a single attempt of the support so support number one and we can expect from the usd gpy to fall all the way to create support number two from that resistance that being said usd gpy as i said before is good for the short right away sell now at 105.418 the safe zone should be ranging just until the top of that resistance so we are talking about 55 pips which is really fair enough just like this and uh, the take profit level is gonna be 104.408 now of course i just wanted to mention that the reason for selecting this level is as we can see uh, we are having a strong key resistance level with three attempts at 105.635 and seems like the pair is actually going to continue the fall um, or actually going to retest actually so, you know something maybe i rushed maybe i rushed uh, let me just change the cell now to be cell at 105.635 the reason as i said before we are having this strong uh, resistance uh, key resistance level and we can expect from the usd gpy to rise a little bit more to hit the exact same level on the daily candles and after that is going to be valid for the short um you can if you want start to short immediately because as we can see the pair has already touched that same level of the resistance and seems like it's going to continue the fall that price action indicates a continuation in the fall that's why I have said before that we can start shorting right here but however and i just want uh, everyone to be safe uh, that's why i said that we can start short exactly at the resistance uh, sorry at the previous yeah resistance at 105.635 so there goes your signal for the usd gpy and hopefully it will work very well and bring us lots of profits 
uh, USD CHF. USD CHF signal didn't work as, as I have expected. However, the pair right now is moving in a consolidation mode. As we can see, the pair actually has reversed from that resistance level. However, uh, it created a support number uh, one. And I believe the pair eventually going to continue the fall and to create support number two. Uh, with a strong bearish momentum on the USDCHF, I believe the USDCHF is actually going to continue the fall. And I don't expect a strong reversal right here to happen. So therefore, we can actually keep the exact same level of the previous tech profit level from the last uh, weekly analysis. And let's see where we can start again shorting the USDCHF. So actually, uh, the USDCHF should be good for the short exactly right here at the peak of that resistance, as we can see right here. Uh, the, the, the the pair actually facing a very small resistance right here but however i don't really expect i'm not really expecting from the usd chf to uh, reverse right away we can expect for the usd chf to hit that previous resistance since we are having right here a resistance number one uh, we can expect from the pair to create resistance number two and from that from that point we can start again shorting the usd chf and we are aiming the same level of the take profit level meaning we are actually aiming 140 pips of profit. Hopefully, we will make them from this pair. That being said, USDCHF is good right from that resistance. And uh, this is the safe zone. As we can see, it's going to be until the peak of the resistance at, at 0 0.90387. So, therefore, sell for the USDCHF at 0 0.89875. Hopefully, also it will work very well and bring us good profits let's now take a look at the gold the gold sadly has tricked me and i have to admit that the analysis from the last week wasn't quite right and sadly of course guys this is very normal when we are expecting from the pair to reverse at certain levels sometimes the trade just fails um i was hoping for the use for the gold actually to reverse at that support trend line However, as we can see, the pair has actually made a breakout from that support trend line and it, it continued the fall, uh, supported by the strong, uh, by, the th by the strength that the dollar has gained recently. However, I believe that the dollar right now is getting weaker and it has lost all of its strength. Therefore, we can expect from the gold to rise a little bit more. But eventually, if I'm not mistaken, the gold is actually going to continue the fall. The reason I'm saying that is that the bearish momentum first of all is now getting stronger for the gold and that strong support level at 1805 has been breaking out from therefore i really don't see the gold have any chances right now to gain more strength to break out from that level our best chance to start shorting the gold is gonna be actually right here <clears throat> at the very same level of that previous support level at 108 1, and if I'm not mistaken also, we are aiming 1,750. 1,750 is actually going to be our target because as we can see, first of all, it was a very strong key resistance level and we're having here one single attempt from the support. So we are having here support number one. And it seems like if we have witnessed here a breakout from that support trend line, most likely the gold is actually going to continue the fall immediately right after uh, testing that previous uh, uh, the broken support trend line and of course as we can see on the left we are having right here also a resistance almost on the same level so therefore if we go to the daily candles we can expect from the gold to rise for another 222 pips before it's gonna be really valid for the short and i will i have to remind everyone that Please be extra careful again when you are shorting the gold or trading the gold as well. Uh, those 200 pips, they can be achieved in just one day. The gold is moving very fast. So don't assume that, oh, 200 pips, that is still uh, way so long, guy. We cannot just wait that long. Let me just search for another signal. Um, it doesn't work like this. We always have to wait for the perfect moment to start. Uh, Dell. <laughs> Sell. We always have to wait for the perfect moment to, to enter with the trade, guys. We cannot force the market to give us good deals. We cannot just force the market. I mean, we cannot just enter any trade just because we want to make money. It doesn't, Forex doesn't work like this. You are actually uh, a trader. So you are actually waiting for the best moment to start uh, uh, to, to enter the trade. You cannot just open the trade any moment you want. So therefore, I'm, I'm here advising you to wait, please, on the gold 
uh, this this is gonna be the take profit level and wait for the perfect moment to start shorting the gold because we are aiming 553 pips of profits and of course for the safe zone it should be just right here above the uh, the resistant the broken uh, support trend line so it's gonna be ranging for almost 200 pips and I'm really aware this is too much and nobody can bear this much of safe zone but again I'm, I'm, I'm reminding you that we are talking about gold right here guys we're not talking about any other currency so um also i have to remind everyone to never short the gold unless you see a good price action indicates a bearish momentum and or a bearish reversal and certainly certainly reminding everyone to please pay attention to the news about the vaccination of the of the united states or anywhere else uh the the leaders statements or whatever please always pay attention to these news the high impact news they can actually ruin all of the given signals in this video please be careful and trade with extra caution so i'm sorry for the long video but i did my best to explain to you uh, my theories and my uh, my own uh, my own expectations and uh, forecast for the market so the, for this week so uh, in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching